In this video, we will have a look at the customer and order overview of Shopper 6 and how you can manage them in your admin. Just uh, let's start with the orders. You can select the order from the menu and select overview. And this is where all your orders are. You, here you have all your current orders in the grid overview uh, with the most important attributes like the order number, which sales uh, channel the uh, order is from, customer data like the customer name or the billing address, and the order value, of course, and different order states. You can also customize these columns if you want to. If you don't want the deliver state, for example, you can click on list settings right here and uh, select or deselect uh, yeah, the different columns and also affect the order in which they appear. You can also filter by these attributes. If you click on the filter icon to the right, here we can go through various attributes like the affiliate code or if you have a specific, a specific campaign running. For example, if you search for a specific document, you can also filter for the order date. And let's say, for example, if you want all orders from last week or from the last two weeks, you can filter that right here. Just click on the calendar icon and you can select a date starting from and to. You can also filter for order states. For example, if you just want all orders uh, with the payment status failed or open. And for the different shipping methods, order attributes for the sales channel, and also for the customer data, like the billing country, shipping country, the customer groups, and so on. We now also have the option to create a new order from this overview if you want to. For example, if a customer calls you, you can just click on the blue button, add order. And then you can here first select a customer from a list or just click add new customer to add a whole new customer. And then you can fill all the information and of course uh, the order positions, but we won't do that for now. So we just cancel it again. And we will have a look on a existing order for now. We just pick the, uh, yeah, the most recent order with this payment status open. Like uh, you can click on the order number to edit the order or click on the three dots menu to the right and click on view. Here you can see all uh, the information the uh, order comes with, like uh, first of course the name of the customer and uh, the order number, the order date and uh, value. You have the payment states and a quick overview, the customer information in the first block the shop information, so to say, the sales channels, the order language, uh, yeah, the last change of the order, and all that stuff. And we have the items, of course, if you scroll further down. Uh, in this case, the customer ordered a craft beer. You can also edit or show these items. We have the whole order calculation, just uh, the total of the uh, orders, uh, the shipping costs, and the total excluding and including VAT and which VAT rate, of course. Then we have a uh, yeah, more detailed overview of the status. Uh, for example, the payment status, uh, we can also change them here. If you change the payment status to paid, for example, we can click on paid. You can send documents if you, uh, if you have one, but we don't have any yet. So we just click update status. Now we can see the payment status is paid can scroll down, we can see that I have just changed the order state to pay. So we have a, yeah, a history, a order state history, and that goes for the order and delivery status too. We have then the shipping or the shipment information, which just includes the shipping method, the delivery date, the shipping costs, of course, and the shipping address uh, of the customer. And last, uh, we also have seen it, uh, we did documents. We can, uh, we do not have any documents yet, so we can create a new one right here. And here we can select if you want to create a delivery node or an invoice. We will start with an invoice for now. The numbers are automatically generated. If you want to fill your own, you can just type any number in here if you want to. You can also select the date and upload a custom document if you already have one for this case and add an internal comment uh, for, yeah, if you want to comment on that. But we won't do that. We can click on preview or directly create this document. And this just takes a moment and there it is. This is our newest document with the, the number and the type of invoice. 
and this was not sent out yet to the customer. You can also directly download the PDF document in here if you want to just click on the three dots and then we can scroll back to the top again. If you now want to edit an order like this one for example, you can just open it and click on the edit button to the top right. For example, if your customer calls you and wants uh, something changed in his order, you can now edit a uh, specific text. You can add a text, for example, and you can change the email address. You can add a phone number of the customer. You can also edit the address. You can just click on edit and edit the address fields uh, yeah, one by one, for example, or you can select the uh, existing addresses of this customer and you can change to a different one but we won't do that right now. You can also do the same for the shipping address only, of course. And then you could also add a track uh, code from, uh, yeah, from a shipment provider. But we can also yeah, affect the items or the order of position, uh, positions for this order. If you do a double click on this row right here, you can change the quantity and the price, for example, if you want yeah, to say let's we give him a little discount. You can get two craft bees for the price of seven euros instead of uh, yeah, 10. We can do that here. Just confirm with the blue check mark and uh, the auto position will be saved. You can also add a new product right here or we can uh, add a custom item. So not an, it's in, not an existing product from the shop. And we can also add a credit note if you want to. And if you have done all our changes to this order, make sure to save the order, of course. Just save it in the edit mode. Uh, yeah. So you can see now the changed item, for example, you have two craft bees for uh, seven years. Now we can continue with the customer overview. For this, you can also head over to the menu to the left and click on customers and overview. And here you will find a similar overview to the orders, of course, but with customer data and all your current customers uh, with the name, the street, and of course the customer data, like the post postal code, city, the customer number, but also the customer group and email addresses. And these columns are again, uh, selectable and customizable. If you want the affiliate code, for example, or a sales channel to be shown, you can also filter by these columns again, the same uh, as uh, the order overview. You have the affiliate and campaign code, but now you have uh, more customer specific data like the salutation, uh, the customer status if it's an active account, and the default uh, payment method, a billing country, a shipping country, and so on. You can also again open the customers to view their, uh, yeah, the, their data. You can just click on the name or again go to the context menu, the three dots to the right. Here you can view the customer or directly edit it or just delete. But we will start with the view. And again, similar to the orders, you have a similar setup uh, graphically. You can see all the account information, the most uh, important data, like the customer group, the customer number, in which a sales channel he is buying to, the last login and uh, the turnover this specific user made in your shop. You can see his uh, language and status account. Um, yeah. And below you can find his addresses where these are the current active addresses, not uh, every address, of course. And this uh, it's are the default shipping and the default billing address. You can head over to the addresses tab and the, at the top to see all the available addresses. If a customer has more than one or two addresses, you can see them here can also yeah, just uh, edit them if you're in the edit mode, which uh, we have a look at that later. You can also see all orders from this customer alone. So you can just click and open the order directly from this customer account. But now we have a look at the edit mode. Just again, like the orders, click on the edit button to the top right. And all these fields become yeah, editable. You can sh uh, say, change the customer data like the title, the names and so on. You can set a new password for the customer if he needs that. 
You can change uh, the email, you can add tags for uh, personal or internal use. You can change the customer group, which might be a useful feature if you're dealing with B2B customers. You can uh, select all the default payment. You can set this account to inactive. For example, you can change the language and you also can edit the addresses further down. But we can also do that um, at the addresses tab, which is a bit more detailed. You can select a different yeah, shipping address and the different billing address, the default. You can add a whole new address if you want to. Just click on this button and fill all the fields. And you now have access to this context menu. You can edit, duplicate and save uh, the default delivery and billing address uh, of this specific address. You could also delete it if it's not the only one, of course. You can just not delete the only left address for this customer. And that's about it. If you made all your changes to the customer's account, make sure to save again, top right. You have a success message. And you can back, uh, go back to the customer overview again. Overview again.